right, what's up, guys? Um, I don't know what's going on with the Genesis. The the girl was all adamant about it and checked on insurance and was going to the bank the other day. Talked to her Wednesday and her person wasn't in the bank, so she couldn't get the money Wednesday, so she was gonna go, or no, that was Thursday. Friday, she said that uh, she'd go and get the money and then we could meet up. Well, I didn't hear anything from her Friday and uh, now she's not answering me. So I'm just guessing that it fell through. So I reposted my ad. I lowered the price to 7,000 on it. Um, I have a price set as firm. Uh, really not making anything on it at that point. They need the money for the garage. Uh, I did get more parts for the Volkswagen last night. Well, when I got home from work. Uh, the headlight came, the other part of the inner fender came, and uh, the bumper uh, retainer that goes on that fender, I got that one too. So I have almost everything to, to start working on it, but that center grill, I need to take, I need the bumper, the fender, and the center grill to take Jerry so he can get it painted. Um, I did fit the headlight up and then I realized there was a bracket missing. There's a bracket that goes on the very back of the headlight and it's like one of the main mounts, keeps it sturdy. Um, it's just a little, it's a small bracket, like an L shape sort of, and it's, it's composite, it's not metal, but I found it on Volkswagen. If you're looking for it, it's not a headlight mount, mounting bracket, it's a headlight retaining, what is it, a retainer bracket or retaining bracket. Uh, I had a hard time finding that, but I did find it. It was rel relatively cheap. It was like 12 bucks uh, after shipping. It was like 20. Um, so we'll be able to get that headlight mounted solid then. Um, and uh, I'm going to plastic weld that skip plate here, but I got to go out to the enhanced inspection station and square up with them because I wasn't there for when the truck sold. And I always pay for the enhanced inspection and. Uh, the state inspection, so I told him I'd be out this week to pay for it. So I'm going to go out today and go pay for it. Also, my back is still bothering me. Um, I'm not on prednisone anymore, and now it's like the longer I sit, my leg starts to hurt. It's like sciatic nerve kind of pain. It's not real horrible right now, and I'm trying to. I've been going to the gym the last two days and doing light exercises. I'm not doing any exercise where I put weight on my spine, but like I did some uh, leg exercises yesterday on the um, what, the seated leg press because it doesn't put weight on your back. It's all like, you know, on your hip. And I did some light exercises there and I've been trying to strengthen up my lower back. So I'm gonna kind of like try to do some uh, therapy on my own and try to strengthen it up to feel better. It's not real horrible and um, you know, it felt good all week but I was on prednisone and I took painkillers on and off. Um, I might take one today just to make it feel a little better but um, that's just an update on my back. Yeah, here's what is left of the skid plate. This is the piece that fell off. And this is a piece that was still attached to the car. You can see I can pretty much, I could plastic weld this back together. You're still gonna miss a chunk right here and you're still gonna have a couple tabs missing right here. But for the most part, that'll work. Um, it's just to keep dirt and stuff out from underneath it. Um, let me show you, I got the other headlight just sitting in there. I mean, it's bolted in right here and on top. But the mount I was missing, and I didn't realize it until I looked on the other side. You see how this there's a mount that goes right here, and there's a bolt hole on this uh, pinch weld here, or on this uh, you know factory pinch weld. There's a hole in here, and the bracket mounts to this, and it has a, just a, like a little L shape, and then this bolts to it, and that'll sturdy this headlight up. I'll also place it where it's supposed to go. You can see how it's loose right now. Um, but it's coming along slowly. I was just getting ready to pull out and the mail carrier stopped with a big piece of my puzzle for this, the wiring harness. It's not a very big harness. I paid almost 200 bucks for this. It was $178. But 
I already have the ambient air temperature sensor plugged in right here. Um, I'm gonna plug it in the car and start it up real quick and I just wanna see if that corrects a couple of my issues. So uh, let me go get the keys and we'll get this thing started. Okay, so I hooked it up. I don't exactly know how you route it, so I just have it laying on there. There's my ambient air temperature sensor. Now, I need to see if I can get in the car. I don't have a lot of room here. Maybe move this leg. No, it's tight. Oh, scheitze! Oh. Let's see, my check engine light isn't going to go away right away. But. I hear the fans kicking up again already. Um, I don't know, I might have to clear that code. Oh, there, the fans just... Okay, the fans just turned off, so that fixed my fan issue. Uh, let's see if we have air conditioning now. Yep. Yep, we do in fact have air conditioning now. So, that fixed several issues. That's awesome. Heck yeah. So all that was was that the, the uh, temperature sensor wasn't there. So uh, the fans were running full blast and uh, AC wouldn't work because of it. Now that fixed all those issues. Um, I still need to check the code. I'm pretty sure it's still going to show the same one because it has to uh, go so long without detecting an issue before the code will clear itself. Um, so I might go ahead and plug it in and clear it and make sure we're going to be cleared. Um, but I need to go out and take care of this bill I told you about. So um, let's go jump in the car and, and go take care of that real quick and then we can come back and work on this some. Oh, I tooted. Well, here's where I have been going to the enhanced inspection station at. A place called Witzel's. The Genesis is sitting up here, and it's probably going to be sitting up here for a little while because a girl has a contact me. She ain't got enough time today to come get it, so I don't know what's going on with her. I'm going to try to sell it. Uh, yeah, there it is. Looking, looking nice. So, go in here and pay my bill. Alright, so I'm probably going to have to readjust it, but I tried clipping this in every spot I could find to clip it. I ran it underneath this. Uh, the ambient air temperature clips in this center section here, but, I mean, it's loose, but it's not going to, it won't come out. So, I think I'm going to leave it right there. Um, I did put zip ties. I, I have the wiring clipped on this in a couple places but I, I couldn't find the exact mounting points and I probably don't have it in the right area I'm thinking it might have to come back out a little bit more because I don't have a lot of room for this over here and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need more than that um, and I have a shitload on the other side so until I get the bumper and the marker lights and stuff here where I can see where everything needs to go um, this hell the ambient air temperature sensor I have it pulled pretty tight to get it into the center there it I might have to mount it over here somewhere I, I don't exactly know where it goes but uh as long as it's behind the bumper um, it shouldn't hurt anything because it just picks up the outside temperature um, but I have it I have it zip tied in for now right here and here so it runs along the back side of this and then comes over and you can see I have an, a bunch of extra wire over here I have it looped around so I definitely have enough over here I know I'm gonna have to pull some back though so we'll figure it out um, anyway um, I'll just start it up and let you hear it now that the fans don't run constantly you can hear the motor better
the motor doesn't sound that bad now. You can't, you can hear it over the fans. I mean, direct injection motors sound kind of shitty as is, so, I mean, that's what they sound like. But, you know what I mean. Definitely doesn't sound like a V8, that's for sure. All right, so while I have this running, I'm gonna go ahead and check the codes again. I'm just gonna get in the passenger side here and uh, plug in my computer. I'm not quite sure where it plugs in at. Probably way up underneath here somewhere. I don't remember where. Make it real convenient. There it is, way back in there. So, get my computer, find the plug, I think I got it backwards now, I only plug in one direction, so, there we go, alright, I want to see if uh, the fans kick on when I turn this AC on. I think the fan should kick on. Anyway, um, I'm just going to go to the generic codes. It's a lot easier to check those and clear them. All right, it's getting cold. Okay, read codes, ambient air temperature sensor, and that's all I had. So I clear that code out, and we should be good. Okay, so the check engine light went out. Um, let's turn it off and turn it back on. Oh shit. Now I gotta get in the driver's seat so I can get over there. Oh, I didn't even notice that. There is some tears in the seat. That sucks. Um, besides that, the seat's in really good condition, but that's that's sucky. Um, I always put use leather treatment on my leather. It feels like the leather got dry right there. Um, you know, it's still in really good condition. That's just that's unfortunate. Um, so. Now I gotta crawl over into the driver's seat. <laughs> I'm like sitting on the center console. I'm just gonna start it from here. No check engine lights. All right, forever up. Oh, it's hard to get to the to the gas pedal from here. Sounds good. So we're good. It's good. So check this out. This thing was stuck. I was having trouble getting in there. I pushed on it and there was a decent looking pair of sunglasses in there. They're not prescription either. Noise. Scores. So yeah. So next we're gonna work on this skid plate over here. Um, Start plastic welding this thing back together. That's the bumper pad. I ought to just throw it on there so I don't lose it. I just have it on the table. I don't think I'm gonna lose it, but let me get clip it on the car. It just clips on there. Ta da! Ta da! Yeah, also I need to go over another thing. I just forgot to tell you guys this. Um, I'm not trying to hide anything from you guys. Um, the guy that bought the F-150, the day after he bought it, it broke down. <laughs> uh, he's not blaming me. He said he saw all the work I did. He said he loves the truck. Uh, he was driving and it just lost power and shut off. And he said 20 minutes later, it fired back up and ran fine. 
Uh, he took it to the Ford garage, and the Ford garage told him that it's intermittent coils, and he said that they'd have he'd have to wait until it misfire generated a code so they could figure out which coil. And there's a cam sensor is malfunctioning, and they also said that the oil pump needs replaced. I'm like, what? Like that thing had great oil pressure, plus that oil pump was brand new. I know it was. Uh, everything else in the engine had like oil tarnish. You know how it discolors? The oil pump was as shiny as can be. There's no way that oil pump has been in there that long because it looked brand new. And it didn't have the oil discoloration from being in there from the oil baking on it. So I told him, I said, if I were you, I'd start off by putting a cam sensor in it because that sounds like a cam sensor to me where if it malfunctions, um, it doesn't detect where your timing's at and it shuts the motor down. Um, it might be, you know, with it heating up, it malfunctions and it cooled down and it started working again. I just told him, I said, I mean, and they're not cheap, they're not expensive and they're not hard to replace. He should replace both cam sensors to be honest. Um, they're very easy to do. And he's not a mechanic, so he took it to the Ford garage and they're going to do it. I told him, I said, start by putting the cam sensors in. That will also cause a misfire and make the coils to misfire intermittently. So, um, and I told him, I said, I don't, I really don't think you need an oil pump. But he's not mad. He said he's going to get a fix. He's just keeping me updated on it. So, that's cool. And, um... I feel bad about it though, and it doesn't look good on me. So, I mean, if it if it comes down to it and it needs more work done, I'll probably try to take care of it. So, um, just letting you guys know, it's an update. Ford's haunting me. That's why I didn't get another Ford this week. So, yeah, no, I didn't even tell you what I'm getting, but it's not a Ford. So, <laughs> um, it's just that I I don't know. <laughs> that, that's Triton. They're a nightmare. Okay, so here I was saying I don't know where this girl is at about the Genesis and stuff. Um, I was messaging her on Facebook Messenger and she wasn't even seeing my messages. So I didn't know what was going on because she was pretty adamant about getting it Friday or Saturday. And then she just disappeared. Um, she messaged me and she had a family emergency. And she says she's not sure she might be able to get the money Monday. But she is still interested you know stuff comes up I you know I just didn't know what was going on because she wasn't con she didn't get a hold of me not only did she have a family emergency her cell phone broke <laughs> she says she's hoping to get another cell phone Monday but she'd be able to talk to me from her laptop so that deal still going on I, I got like I was like frantic about it so I dropped the price in Put it up for say, put the ads back up and stuff. But I'm probably gonna wait until I see what she wants to do about it. Um, and then I contacted the um, landscaping company or the excavator company, and they're coming tomorrow to give me an estimate on digging out the rest of this bank. I don't care what it is; they're a decent price. I had them dig what is dug out already, and I'm gonna have them dig it back as far as they can go because I'm getting a retaining wall poured. But we're gonna get that done ASAP. Might not be, you know, this week. You know, it might be a couple weeks. But we're gonna get them up here. We're gonna get this dug out. I'm gonna tear the shed out so I have that whole opening there, and I can get measurements on how big of a garage I can fit in here. So it's exciting. Who is begging for attention right now? What? Why are you bugging me so much? Yeah? No. He's an attention whore, aren't you? Hey. You an attention whore? Meh. Alright, so I'm in the back storage room in my basement. <laughs> I'm gonna plastic weld this skid plate down here. First off, I got I got better light, lighting down here, and I got a window I can prop open, um, so the smoke should not, you know, suffocate us in here. Um, I'm gonna clean this up real good, um, and then I'll get the plastic welder out, and we'll go to town. I have uh, an inner fender off of the Genesis outside, 
it's just kind of like the same material I might go get that to help you know add material to this but it's, it doesn't need to be perfect I got a crack over here also a crack right here also so we're just gonna go around I'm gonna try to strengthen this thing up um, and then if we're having a problem with it after that I might just um, use some epoxy and lay some plastic on the inside of it and uh, you know glue it down with some epoxy but we're going to try to put, use this plastic welder first. All right, so my camera died on me in the middle of this, but let me show you. It's, um, you know, it's not perfect. It's not something you would do on something that you see all the time, but I did it on both sides to strengthen it up. You can see, see how I just kind of molded it together. Um, and let me show you, let me put it in here. Right here's where it was molded at. Look how I can flex it. It's it is strong. I've found that plastic this plastic has like fiber, like little fibers in it, and I've found that they that molds the best and holds together stronger. Um, this was off of that um, Genesis, and this is the same type of deal. It's got like little fibers inside the plastic, and it kind of holds it together stronger. So I used some of that and added to this and made it, I mean, it, it's strong. Like I said, look. Oh, did I crack it? Maybe that's not the best thing to be doing. <laughs> okay, I just cracked it right, right here. But I didn't really mold that the best because, uh, Actually, I didn't even get to that part. I didn't mold that the best because that wasn't the ma my main concern. Uh, this was one piece and this was one piece and you can see how I molded it across there. Didn't crack there. Uh, that's all one piece. So, um, <laughs> let me let me hit that spot a little bit more since I just cracked it. But um, it'll work just fine on this car. Yeah, it's kind of ugly, but um, like I said, it'll do just fine. And it also kind of strengthens up your um, your um, inner fenders attached to it here and then it attaches to your front bumper. It kind of rigids it up some. So, yeah, <laughs> let me touch that one spot and then uh, we'll be good on this. Well, I just got a phone call. The, the lady that bought the station wagon legacy off me that older legacy that I put a whole bunch of work into 
she called me and asked me what all cars I have for sale. She said that uh, last week somebody rear-ended her that in the Legacy and uh, totaled it again. <laughs> so uh, that sucks. Cause, and she said that was an extremely nice car. She said she had it three weeks and somebody backed into the quarter panel and put a dent in it. And, but she said she's had no problems with that car. And that was how old? Wasn't even a year ago, but it was close. It, it's probably getting close to a year. No, because it was snowing. I bet you it was eight months, six to eight months she bought that. But she was looking to see if I had any other cheaper cars, and I, I really don't right now. See, that's where it sucks. And you have the cheaper cars, they go quick. So, um, hoping to get back into that mentality, getting some cheaper cars I can fix up decent. Make them look nice and you know, sell them cheap. So, but yeah, I added some more plastic to this. Um, I put a big, thick glob on there and stuck it in. I'm not gonna go twisting it now. <laughs> it's in one piece. We're gonna leave it like this. Um, I'm not throwing it on the car tonight. Uh, it's muddy, rainy, wet out. Uh, just not getting underneath that car. There's really no reason of putting it on right now either. I have the inner fenders and stuff I, I need to work on putting it in and then I can put this on, but um, not this weekend. Not today. Yeah, and if for some reason you missed it, it was a couple episodes ago, I told you, when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I have another one of these that I bought on accident. I'm going to give it away. It's not a real expex expensive item. Uh, it's a Harbor Freight. They're, they're fairly cheap. I got about $25 in uh, one of these and then extra plastic welding rods, which um, these ones come with the kit. This is uh, the, the one here. They're different materials. So um, I'm at 8000 now. Woohoo. Never thought I'd see that day. That's crazy to me, but um, yeah, so I'll be giving one of these away when I hit 10,000. I'm not ex exactly sure how I'm going to do it yet. Um, it's probably going to run through my my Facebook page for my, my uh, more involved subscribers, the ones that follow me a little closer, right? and I'm probably going to do it for the people that I see that comment in and are more active on my videos so um like i said i'm not sure how i'm going to do it yet but yeah i'm going to give one of these away and i'll just uh get in contact with whoever on facebook and we'll uh we'll get it out to you then whenever i do that but we're getting close 2,000 more subscribers so if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and smash that subscribe button if you want if you don't like it then i understand you know what i mean everybody's different everybody has different taste you know what I mean? But uh, that's probably going to be the end of this episode. So if you like this episode, go check out some of my other ones. Got some real good ones back here. Go back, check out that Jeep build when I uh, did the Raptor liner on it. That was that was pretty neat. Don't know. I might do that again sometime. That was kind of fun. But uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out. They say